live streaming room. I'm Karina. Hello, my name is Ivan. Uh, Ivan, today I will bring you a very good product, Indoor LSF Lifestyle Cabinet. Indoor LSF, what is mean LSF? Uh, L, uh, LS means Lifestyle Super Slimness, slimness Cabinet. It is specially designed for indoor fixed installation. Wow, super slim. Uh, so I'm wondering what is the thickness of this cabinet? Uh, this cabinet is only 40, uh, 40 millimeter. 40 millimeter, that is uh, very, very thin. Yeah. So what, what is the dimension of this cabinet? Uh, we have two cabinet uh, sites for optional, as okay. you know. Uh, this uh, one is 1000 for wives, uh, 250 for hats, and another is 750 for uh, 750 for wives and 250 for hats. Well, do you know the benefit for the cabinet size? Yeah, please let me know. Uh, as you know, for different uh, uh, applications, the indoor maybe have different uh, wall size. Yes. Then maybe the customer may need a 1.5 millimeter or 1.75 millimeter. Yeah. Then so we just used one longer cabinet uh, and a short cabinet. Then we can exactly meet the customer demand. We can uh, assemble a 1.75 millimeter cabinet screen size. Also, we can use two long two longer cabinet to exactly do a two meter screen size. Yeah, very good design. So different cabinet size options can form different size bigger displays. Um, sure. Okay, yes. Very good to know. And uh, so, what is the pixel pitch this cabinet will support? Yeah, that is very important because for indoor, maybe people need to see the screen very close. So mm -hmm. we. Uh, for this cabinet, we suppose 1.9, 2.6, 2.9, and 3.9, 4.8. Wow, a lot of options. So basically, all this pixel pitch can cover all the applications for indoor uh, projects. Yes. Okay. Uh, because uh, we cannot show people will see the screen at what place. So we can we should, but we we need to show that our screen can. Uh, meet uh, all the customers' demand to have uh, the great uh, visual experience. Yeah, exactly. So I'm also wondering what is the raw material of this cabinet? Uh, this is a die casting aluminum cabinet. Die casting? Yeah. The, okay. Can you guess out uh, what the weight for this cabinet? I'm very curious about it. Uh, for 750 by 250 Kevin is only 4 kilograms. Well, so the short one is only 4 kgs. How about the longer one? Uh, the longer one is only 6 kilograms. Wow, 6 kg, super, super lightweight. So even like you are such a such, uh, little girl, you can, can handle the camera very easily. Sure. Do you want me to show you? Yeah, show me. <laughs> okay. Well, you see. Yes, it's uh, easy. Yes, it's very easy. And uh, I'm also wondering, this cabinet uh, will support like traditional cabinet only for rail service, or is there any as any other options for the maintenance method? Uh, as you can see, this cabinet has no rail door. Okay. So we designed it for for. for for front maintenance, oh. uh, not only the modules, yes. but also the power supply, cards, cables are all supported to do the maintenance at the front side. So we can take all the parts from the screen front. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let so me... can you show us how it works? Sure. Uh, first, we use this professional tool. What is this, Karina? This is a vacuum machine tool. Okay, it's a vacuum machine. Yeah, vacuum machine. Okay. Oh, it's super fast. Yeah, maybe just two seconds, and maybe look at that. Yeah, two seconds only to take out the module from the cabinet. Yes. So, and and we use the magnet modules. 
the, the model sex is uh, 250, 250. Okay. And it's available it is at, square. Yeah. Okay. Uh, available all the pieces of each. Mm -hmm. So we can change the uh, modules only if the customer wants to upgrade the uh, video, uh, upgrade the LG screen. Yeah. So. Since all the modules have same size, so we can upgrade the LED display from lower pitch to higher pitch. Yes. To only change the module without changing any other things. Uh, yes, we can see the cabinet cost for the client. Yeah, it's a very good design. Yes, and you can notice that our uh, module is very thin. Yes. We removed the module base. We used the PCB to attach the directly. So, I think this is uh, also the reason why we can make the cabinet so slim because we don't use any module housing at the big side of the module. It's only a PCB. Yeah. Wow. We totally got it. It's very good design. Um, uh, as you mentioned, the, the cabinet is very thin. Yes. But it's not proud inside. Yeah, could you show us? More details inside of the cabinet. Uh, maybe you can. Maybe you can. Yeah, let me try, try it. it. Try yes. It. Okay. Is it very easy to work? Yeah, it's super easy. Okay, it's just one module. Yeah. So we have four modules here. Yeah. The first one. Yes. And this is the last one. We need to release the, the power connection yes. and the ribbon cable connection. Yes. Okay. So, Rina, maybe you show us more details inside of the cabinet. Uh, maybe you can take a look at our inside cabinet. Uh, it is very simple. A line card, uh, line power supply, and all the power supply and cards fixed at the same place. Wow. So, what is the benefit of this special design? Uh, as everything are well designed and uh, and uh, organized, then we can uh, faster to load the exact place uh, for the power supplies. Uh, that means uh, when you stand in front of the LED screen, you need to uh, make the maintenance for the power supply. Now we need to take out the module first. If we have know the exact uh, uh, power supply place, then we just open one module, then we can know the next step. Then we we'll save a lot of time to the maintenance. Yeah, super good design. And um, so, uh, for such a good uh, design cabinet, how many installation, installation ways do we support? Uh, this cabinet supports a wall mounted, it okay. will load it uh, extra supporting structure. And then, we, uh, as I mentioned, this cabinet is very light. Then we can easily to hand the cabinets. So we don't need the installation structures. Yes. Okay. You just uh, change this locating thing and to uh, maybe to hand the make a hand ring to hand the LED screen directly. Oh, this is uh, it's another option of installation. We can do the hand installation for the screen. Yes. We can. Uh, simply put the screen uh, under the roof of the building. Yes. Okay, very good. And also, it's, this cabinet is very thin. Mm -hmm. And we just use this uh, connecting piece okay. to connect two cabinets directly to make a double side LED screen. Wow, double side, how it works? Uh, as, as we left the school course uh, here, and okay. we use this. Connecting pins with two cabinets and then directly lock. Uh, a, a screw will, talk, will go across two cabinets. Okay. And then we we fix it the screws. Okay. So we can put two cabinets back to back yeah. and join them together to uh, form a two size screen. Yes. Okay. Can you imagine how thin for the double side of the screen? How much is that? It's only one, uh, 10 centimeter. 10 centimeters only? Yes. Wow, it's really, really thin. 
Uh, and for generally for the uh, steel cabinet, uh, the thickness for the double side LED screen will be uh, 150, or maybe normally more than 200. So this one is much thinner. Yes. So as far as our feedback from our customers, the Intel product will be thinner. The thinner, the better. Yes. It okay. looks more lit, simple. Yes. And also we can save a lot of uh, installation space for their display for their thinner product. Yes. Uh, Ivan, let me show you the how to connect our uh, cabinets. Yeah, sure. Yeah, here I'd, I'd like to show you this connector. Wow, this uh, this is a flat cable. Seems uh, looks like a ribbon cable. This is very flat, not like the tra traditional round type. Yes, as you as you mentioned that this cabinet design is a super slimness. We need mm -hmm. to find a good one to go across. The cabinet, you can see, it's very easy. Blue too. Yes. Yeah. So we, we go across one con connector and then lock, lock the connector like this way. So even the connection is much easier than the old type. Yes, you can yes. see. It's very easy. Very nice product. Yeah. And we designed the two uh, screws. We will use the screws. Inside to lock the cabinets and all, as well as at the upper and down. So these uh, screw, screws for the left and right side, up and down side, will make the screen packed more tight. Yes. And uh, uh, so we can make a more uh, seamless splicing screen yes. because of this design. Yes. Okay. Very good to know. Um, uh, Karina, uh, mm -hmm. I'm wondering, you just mentioned about the um, wall mounting installation, also hand installation, mm -hmm. two sides screen, mm -hmm. which means double side screen. I'm also curious about uh, is there any other irregular solutions for this cabinet? Uh, also, we will have a landing grid cube as well, cube LED screen. Wow, cube. Yeah, so does, it, does this cabinet look cute? Yes. Wow, so we can uh, cut the edge of this cabinet and make the landing grid okay. uh, angle, angle at this ring. Yeah, like this shape, the square cube. Yes. Okay, so it's kind of a creative solution for some special projects. Yes, you totally got it. Yeah, very good to yeah, know. Yeah, this cabinet is very, it, it has wild application. You can install one at a shops, and you can install one and more. You can hang it, and a lot of application can use it. Yeah, yeah, very good product, and uh, have a lot of uh, functions, and uh, also we can use it for a lot of different uh, situations. So. As far as I know, I I know there's a screen installed in our just in this conference room. Can you show much show us more details about this screen? Of course. Yeah, let's go and let's then, go and then take a look at it. Yeah, it's just like a television here, just mounted on the wall. Yes, it, it, it looks very simple and very suitable for the meeting room. Yeah. Okay. And you can see the thickness, it is only 4 cm. Yes, super slim for this uh, round floor product. And there is no any extra supporting structure with the directly mounted on the cabinet on the wall. Really? Can we take a close look for the, how it's close to the wall? Sure. Maybe we can yeah. open the motor first. Okay. And you can see here. Here is a bolt. A bolt. Bolt. Yes. yes. We just uh, uh, drill a hole on the wall first, mm -hmm. and then use these screws to lock, to punch into the uh, punch into the wall, yes. and then to lock it the cabinet. Yes. So 
This is the reason why we can save the installation structures. We just uh, simply punch a bolt inside the wall and then we uh, can hang this cabinet on the bolt. Yes. Very good design. Uh, maybe you can touch the screen. Maybe you can feel the flatness of the screen. Yes, let me try. Wow, this is a super flat and a seamless spicing drawing. Yeah. Um, so, I have, since I have introduced the lot to you, can you tell me why it is so flat? Yeah, let me try if I can have a very good answer for you. First of all, you mentioned this cabinet is die casting aluminum yes. and uh, it has very high uh, price, uh, price, uh, price uh, manufactured. So we can make the joint very tight and uh, seamless splicing. So this is one of the uh, one of the important reason. Yes. And also we have the locating pins and the screws for joining for the left and right side cabinets and also. We have the screws uh, for the double skewer of the up and down connections. So we can make a such beautiful screen for those very good design. Yes, we totally got the function of our LSF cabinet. So if the customer is interested in our LSF cabinets, what they should do? Ah, uh, wow, well, it's a very hard question. <laughs> so can you give us the answer directly? Sure, of course, contact with us or call with us directly. Well, yes, you can. If you have any questions, just leave the comments uh, for us. We are very happy to answer your questions. Or you can go to our website www.sclightstar.com or you can send email up to our sales team. We are very happy to provide the uh, uh, specifications or very detailed quotation sheet. Yes. So thanks for all the uh, all of your time, and uh, we we really expecting to wait for your contact. Yeah, we're looking forward to hear from you, and uh, so much for watching for our online LED China show. Uh, we'll be see you next day. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.